Hi, and welcome to Community Meditation. I'm Jana Genova. I teach meditation in Southern California at Equinox, Unplugged Meditation, Raw Yoga, as well as at a few businesses and treatment centers and privately. But I know that not everyone has access to a meditation teacher. So I offer free live streamed weekly meditation classes that anyone can participate in. So in the beginning of each class, I share with you some aspects of the meditation um, so that you can see how they're working in your everyday life. And what I'd like to talk about today is the importance of touching on the practices throughout your day. So usually when people hear that I'm a meditation teacher, they ask me how long I meditate every day. And I think they're expecting an answer of like, two hours in the morning and three hours in the evening. And I'd say that for anyone who meditates, the length of your morning and evening meditation is less important than touching back in on the practices throughout your day. One of my teachers, Pakshok Rinpoche, calls what we're doing now meditation training. And the real meditation is what happens outside of this room or off the cushion. So during tonight's practice, I'm going to guide you through identifying a benefactor moment. And these moments are available to us um, more often than we recognize. But after working with them in a meditation, then we begin to see them in our everyday life. And so the way that you would touch back in on the practice is to notice when a benefactor moment is happening. And just like in the meditation, allow the allowing, allow the receiving of that moment and noticing what happens when you allow that to occur. Another way to touch back in is if you have just a few minutes when you're waiting for someone, all of us reach for our phone and check Instagram or our email, but maybe one time out of the day or a few times out of the day, instead of responding to that impulse to look at the phone, instead, check in with what you're feeling in that moment. And this isn't um, after we go into some sort of deep breathing exercise. It's simply becoming aware of the sensations and the feelings in the body. And if you've done handshake practice with me in the past, then you can engage in that practice, holding whatever arises in the space of kindness and doing that for just the two minutes that you're waiting for someone. Those are ways that you can touch back in on the practice. And you might start with doing touching back in a few times a day. And eventually, that touching back in on the practice becomes more and more frequent. And we have more of the meditation happening throughout our day. So let's talk about some of the terms that I'm going to use in tonight's meditation. One is love. And Tonight, or in these meditations, we define this as the power to commune with persons and the goodness of their being while wishing them deeply well. It's the power to commune with people and the goodness of their being while wishing them deeply well. Another word I'll use is benefactors. And your benefactors are those who have quietly extended such love to you, often in moments long forgotten. So those who have the wish for you to be deeply well. And a benefactor moment is a moment you can recall when someone was with you in this simple loving way. Taking joy in you, in a moment of play, laughter, care, or deep listening, even just quiet presence. And usually these benefactor moments, when we recall them, it feels good. And that's kind of how you know that you've identified a benefactor moment. And any moment that feels good is suitable to use for the meditation tonight. So just take a moment, you can close your eyes if you'd like, and think back to a moment when Someone was with you in a simple, loving way, 
taking joy in you. So to receive and extend love helps the mind to relax into its most natural state. A wisdom of openness, inner tranquility, and simplicity. And by resting in its natural state, the mind can further unleash its underlying capacity of love. As the unity of love and wisdom unfolds, we become more fully present to others communing with them in their fuller humanity instead of reacting from habitual judgments. So let's begin the meditation. Sitting in a relaxed way, with back comfortably straight, plenty of room in the body for the breath, palms resting down on your knees, and with eyes soft, gaze downward, Let's do three vase breaths, inhaling through the nose, filling the low abdomen while holding the breath. Imagine that all of your thoughts and feelings are just trickling down into the low belly. And release. Again, inhale to fill the belly. Hold the breath. All thoughts and feelings still pouring down into the low belly. And release. Inhale, fill the belly. Hold. Feel the energies trickling down. And release. Now just breathe naturally. Noticing the effects of the vase breaths. Mm. Now recall your benefactor moment. And imagine this person present to you now in that way. And consider that benefactor moment as occurring right now, not just a memory from the past. Imagine this person is communing with you now in the goodness of your being, your unconditional worth and potential beyond limiting judgments, taking joy in you, 
wishing you deeply well. And feel the happiness of holding this person in mind. Opening, accepting. Letting him or her commune with you in the depth of your being. Wishing you well. Imagine that loving wish for you is a shower of gentle healing energy that permeates your whole body and mind. And explore just opening and accepting it. Like a puppy lying on a rug in sunlight. Receive this gentle energy into every part of your body. letting physical tensions soften under its touch. Receive this energy into every cell, into every drop of blood, every part of you loved in its very being.
Now receive this gentle, loving energy into every part of your mind. Every feeling of worry, tension, frustration, longing and sadness, anger and even joy. Allow any such feelings to come up and be embraced in this energy. Let every thought and feeling, even as it arises, be permeated by this healing energy. Every part of you loved in its very being. Relax into that feeling of loving energy and kindness. Without holding on to any vision of anything, just merge into oneness with that gentle energy. letting the mind release all its frameworks, relax and fall completely open. With all senses open, let the mind be completely unconfined, unrestricted, wide open. Let this expanse of openness and awareness itself do the knowing, the meditating.
let all patterns of thought and feeling this openness of mind just unwind and release like patterns on water letting all be For a few moments, allowing the atmosphere of the meditation to resonate. savoring this moment of in-between. This week, your homework is to touch back in on the practices frequently throughout your day to let go of that expectation that you should be meditating for 20 or 30 minutes or whatever a day. Set aside five or 10 minutes in the morning, rest in a benefactor moment, recalling a moment, maybe recalling a new moment every day and receiving the wish of love from your benefactor, receiving it into every part of your body and every part of your mind. And throughout the day, touching back into the practices by 
noticing the sensations in your body, allowing everything to just be in the space of kindness, and noticing those benefactor moments as they happen. And just like in the meditation training, receiving those moments as fully as possible into every part of you. I hope to see you again next week at Community Meditation. Please help to spread the word. If you're curious about these meditations, you can go to my website. The link is below. You'll see some information about you. The meditations are called Meditations of Innate Compassion and Wisdom. You can find even more information about them and more downloads on the Foundation for Active Compassion website. That website is linked below too. Thank you.